So this is Mr. Simpson with Miss Andrews here, and we're just going to do a little introduction to the Upper Six Applied Science. Remember that we did start off uh, some of the briefs at the end of last year, uh, all online, and we'll just talk you through uh, what the situation is and how we're going to move on with those briefs uh, in the coming week and. and Moving on then. So as you know, it was all a little bit of a mess last year with the uh, pandemic starting. But essentially, just before the summer, you should have started some work on the upper sixth units. So we know that those of you doing the single award should have been working through some parts of unit two. Double award, you'd have been focusing on five and six. And the triples, you'd have been looking at five, six and 13. And those are going to be the units that we are going to pick up as we move on with this term. We'll see everyone next week for at least one session where we will go into the briefs in a bit more detail. Uh, but the structure would be based around uh, blended learning. So as we stand, uh, the approach by college is that students will be in for a week and then off the next week. So the blending learning approach will be a situation where uh, you will be able to access all the information from your teachers when you're in and then when you're you're off it will be a situation where you're completing all the assignments so it's really important that you follow uh, the instructions that Miss Andrew is going to give next okay so a really key part of this is going to be still using remote learning so obviously we're going to really focus on using teams effectively really using the OneDrive to share our resources and submit work, making sure that you're all good at using Outlook and can use your emails appropriately, and of course, using Turnitin for our submissions. So really, it's important that you are confident with all of those. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second when we are considering things you can do now to prepare. So if possible, um, you need to try and make sure that your broadband access and, and IT access is uh, accessible so that you can be working on the assignments from home. Um, there is opportunities within college to potentially access uh, Chromebooks uh, and take them home. Uh, and then another thing that's important is to make sure everything's nice and organized because with the blended learning approach and you doing stuff at home, want to be in a situation where you're coming into college and you haven't got the work saved in a suitable location so you need to make sure that you've, you're efficient with the OneDrive and, and that enables you to work in college and at home on the same document so there shouldn't ever be a problem with um, losing work and so on. I think it is really important to just make sure that you have addressed any gremlins before you come back and we really try and hit the ground running. So about any of the work that you completed before the summer that is as far as you're concerned um, worthy of submitting this year make sure you know where it is make sure it's saved somewhere with a sensible name on the file in a sensible location what you will find is your teachers will probably change about a bit so for example my group last year I was delivering them some unit 5 I won't be doing the rest of unit 5 this year so that work needs to be passed on to their next teacher. So you need to have that work organised so that you can transfer it easily. So just do a little bit of sort of housekeeping, check through your files, make sure everything makes sense. And then again, if you are not sure, make sure you've got things like the apps for Teams and OneDrive and Outlook downloaded and they're definitely working. If you do have issues, you need to contact IT at college and anything else like things like maybe getting hold of books etc you might want to talk to people like pastoral managers but just make sure that you're not on the back foot and you're not trying to do this when you arrive I think a key thing that we've all realized this year is that you can't necessarily predict what's going to happen we all hope that this pandemic sort of comes to an end relatively soon but if we are in a situation similar to last year where assessments are affected and maybe we've got things like centre assessed grades. Remember that teachers can only make predictions based on the evidence they have, so what they've seen. That's not to scare you, that's to just show you that if you do your best throughout the year and all we ever see is your best foot forward, that will make it far easier for us to give you predictions that truly reflect you. Okay? I think it makes sense that if you haven't put your best foot forward, that maybe we can't 
predict to that level. So I hope that makes a bit of sense. And to summarize, um, all you need to be doing then is making sure you've got a setup at home where you can complete work. And like Miss Andrew said, any work that was done towards the end of um, last year, make sure you know where it is. Uh, the worst case scenario is that I'm not sure on where the work is and then you just go to your teacher when you're back and uh, we can always help you and find out where you're up to so it's not something to panic over but let's just get everything sorted uh, so we're ready to go next week brilliant and i think that's all that we've got to say for today uh, obviously anything that you've got any issues with you've got us as your teachers you've got the pastoral team and you've got the it team as well so just get in touch if you need anything. Bye.